it, but I'm not in a position to try it. Oh, okay. Maybe you can try CBD. What is it? CBD oil, oil from the weed gives you the effects without the gives you the um the health benefits without the mind altered effects. I guess. Nice you're chatting with us about my favorite topic. Ah, well, welcome. I wanted to do this all along, but we were distracted by so many fuckers. I was so distracted. Jesus, I'm focused, man. Kind of. Still distracted. There's different things. Anyway, um, what was I talking about? Listen, make, I'm, and it's not that my memory going, you know, I have to try to focus on so many things at once. I need to still my frigging mind. We were talking about establishing more spaces and set building a bigger net so we can catch each other when we fall and we did that. What what was next after that? I don't remember. Those are the things we were talking about. We just we just upon one journey. We were talking about a space and a convo. All right, so me up to speed with myself. Oh God. Well, I think we kind of have spaces, but we need to. Bring these spaces together so it's no longer a space. But we that about CBD. No, that was that was a side conversation with some. I was responding to somebody. But if we we we, we complain a lot about, and we, I say we, I mean it literally, because I complain a lot about the things that could have been done better, or can be done better. The thing, the spaces which could be better. I keep talking about the things that could be better. But this really is not my way of doing things. So I, even that was a distraction. I was distracting myself um, with by focusing on um, the downside of it. The upside of it is that instead of demanding that the people who are making things that don't work well make better things, we can just make the better things ourselves. Instead of insisting that the bad guy does the good thing, which is so stupid. I mean, and I, I use the word stupid not in a judgmental way. I'm, I'm mean, not going to ever think me stupid because I know mean, me smart. But it is ridiculous to expect the bad guy to be the one who saves the day. No, a pop of girl saves the day. They're the heroine. They're the heroines, right? So that was a, a, an exercise in futility coming out every day and screaming at the bad guy come do good things come do good things if we are the good guys shouldn't we be the ones to do that shouldn't we so new plan <laughs> new plan right and it's not a tanya stevens thing it never is it is not about me we are the ones saying we want to get to this place together so then we are the ones who have to do it. It's not me, it's us. Right? If you have information, share it. Don't die with it. And I'm not saying that you're going to die tomorrow morning. But I mean, you're at the end of this life, we die, right? Don't keep the information to yourself. Share it. Share it. And especially if you have information that is, in other words, make the change we want to see. You be the change. So there are some people who have information that is, rear i'm trying something called berberine to help me control my blood sugar cool we have information that is that is very limited as far as it's spread and we keep it to ourselves and we hug it and we die with the information and and then the generation that comes after us has to start from scratch to redevelop what has already been developed you know self-defeating we are as a species humans and especially the good guys you know the good guys are the worst i want you to examine examine the definition of good guy and ask yourself if them they're the good guy for me they started from examining the bible and seeing that your god that you put in the bible did all the bad things in the bible it didn't sound like the good guy and i think you did your god an injustice a disservice by painting him that way and you're doing it with yourself you're calling yourself the good guy, but you're doing the bad things. You are doing the bad things. Let me tell you something. You see the bad guys? Who we call the bad guys? And bad and good are relative. So they're not real. But the people we call the bad guys share everything. Constantly. Consistently. The bad guys don't hoard the badness. They spread that shit. Far and wide. 
them spread it thin. Badness is everywhere. Goodness, gracious me, you don't share that at all. You, you say you're the good guy, but you hug everything to yourself. You don't share it with nobody. You still think you're the good guy? Because the bad guy believes in him badness and he shared that far and wide. But you believe in your goodness and you don't share it. You say your God has instructed you to love him and love your brothers yourself. You don't. You do not love your brothers. I've seen you. It's a lie. You will say you're the good guy. You do not love each other. Me not ask me, I tell you, I've seen you. You operate from a space of hate, from a space of scarcity, even when you have too much. Even when you, you hoard everything and you have more than you will ever, ever be able to consume. And you still don't share none. And you still think you're the good guy. The bad guys out there, so I shared all of them drugs. They share. Liquor? You ever see? Yes, you ever see somebody where I drink liquor? That put on in a meagle. Everybody come and drink. Them not even have introduced themselves. Them come in and just boom a fist and just take up a cup and pour. Instant liver reduction capacity. <laughs> Shared with love. Because may I tell you this? When me sit down and I have a drink with somebody, that a fellowship we share. When we sit around a table and share some bottles of whiskey, we share fellowship, we share love, reassurance. I'm telling you this. Now, if you really are the good guys and you want to be the good guys, then you will have to do the same with the good things. The information, you, the only thing the good guys share is judgment, you know. Stop doing that. You're painting yourself bad and you're turning off people. If you really want people to come in, be good. Share love. You have excess food, share it. Cir you get a cirrhosis. You get a cirrhosis. You get a cirrhosis, right? The Oprah of bad... Every bad person shares them badness, Shana. You know this. I've never ever had to ask for anything bad. Never. It was always offered to me. The good things, even when you beg, them still deprive you of it. Just think, man, the good guys are not the good guys. May I tell you, you have been misdirected. You, oh no, oh no, oh no. On a, on a define everything so skewed because you cannot be the good guy if you have excess food that you're planning to eat next month you don't even know if you'll live this next week and you store next month's food from now and somebody right beside you hungry tonight and you're not giving them a plate you're not the good guy i have news for you you're not the good guy you're not the good guy you cannot be the good guy if your goodness is something that you keep to yourself and nobody can see your goodness except you keep expounding on it. You talk, you talk, you talk a good one. But unrelated, why I just recognize you on Royal Palm. Jesus, my Royal Palm is something I want to forget. Terrible acting, by the way. <laughs> Terrible. Oh, God. Mama. Oh, cringe. <laughs> cringe. Terrible writing. Terrible acting. Bad combination. Yeah, Lenny, you're writing terrible. Sorry. Me tell him to your face already. I know back at me. I tell him terrible, terrible stuff. But I digress. Good guys start the good things. You want. <laughs> Shana left me alone. You want people to believe that. And, and there's nothing, there's nothing, no process that we have going on on earth that can change. It's us doing all the doing. We can change. In any moment we decide for change, change begins immediately, just by the thought. Because the thought of change is something different. You didn't think of changing before, did you? But now you do. So already change has begun. It begins in the mind, right? So you start the change by first thought, and then you act on it. And even if you don't get it right at first, practice makes perfect. You think the bad guy gets a bit bad overnight? No, man. A consistent badness bring him come my top of the badness game. And he shared the knowledge. He will share it far and wide with anybody. You go stand up next to, you to, them, to him and him try to infect you with the badness. Even by process of osmosis, you're going to get some of the badness. Good guys don't need documentation of their good deeds for everyone to see. No, good guys don't want documentation of their good deeds for everyone to see. And it's not that it's a bad thing for you to want documentation. It is that when you really are a good guy, 
you're committed to the outcome. You're not committed to, 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 to publicizing the process. You're just committed to the outcome. And the outcome brings you the recognition and the acknowledgement that you need all of it. Because all you want is the best for the collective. You want the best. And when you get the best, that is it. The satisfaction. That is your end game. That is your goal. But when you need to share the, visu the, the visuals of the process, then you were not committed to the outcome. You were committed to the publicity of the process. Right? And this is why you share it. And it is not a I'm not speaking from judgment. But if it is that you really want to be the good guy, start doing good things. Just start the good things. It, there's no other way around it. You cannot fool the universe. Now you see the difference between my source and your God? The difference between my universe and your God, even though all of these things are one and the same, is the definition. Your God is comfortable with your superficiality. My source has no part in that. My source does not interfere in that process. Your God is proud of your narcissism. Because your God needs you to come out and, and do this all the time. Hey, look at me. You look at me. I'm praising God. My source, my source needs nothing from me. There's nothing I can give to my source because my source has everything. I cannot give anything to my God. There's nothing. My God does not need my prayers. I cannot give praise to my God because my God owns everything, including you and your God. My God is source. And source is everything. Everything. So regardless of what you believe, what you believe, what you believe, it all exists within my God. Source. There is no outside of my God. DJ Dodge, that is it. My God knows me inside and out. Source. Source not only know me. Source is me. I don't have to tell source of me I do. All my do is claim. But just have to know. So every version of me exists. I'm a claim the one where I want to experience right now. That is it. Trying to do good often gets you attacked. So most people just watch from the sidelines. It's often not exhausting. But you know, doing good, all right. Let me find the words. Yanzi, you remember one time you come in on my DMs and you cuss me? And say, why the rats you can't just explain what you said to the people and stop talking over their head? All of them think you're one bad person and I'm vexed with you because you, you won't make it. You remember that day when you preached to me and I'm like, I'm not talking no different as I'm talking. You remember? It's too bad. You, you try to tell people something, you learn. Them tell you you're mad or them say you go like you're better than them. But then them people are not ready for hearing you. Know? So here's the thing now. All of you are the same place at the same time. You make your information available and who want it will take you. Want to take it? Nobody turn you out. This and go knock on the door and disturb them whenever they do their laundry. Put it away there and make everybody know. Say over here, so this day here, I don't want to take it. And you left them alone. And the process they mean I learn to left them alone. Lord, they had to left alone. Come love them still. Some of them can do good. Some of them really, really love them. But apart from that, <laughs> me love them. So when we find something where work, me excited. No, you're not eating them back. I lie, you're not eating them. Because if you didn't eat them, you'd have left them alone. And plus, you, you only can't hate people you really love, don't. You have to really feel emotionally connected to them. You invest so much effort in them as to hate them. Like, if you really don't care about them at all, like zero, you'd have just move on from them and then you know, see them. You'd have just take them out of your line of vision completely. Like, things where you don't focus on, you don't see them. You know that? You wouldn't see them. The mere fact that you see them, which are something where I deal with. All of the things that I talk about are things that I deal with. All the time. Because the things that are bother me, some of the things that are bother me, it's really hard to come to terms with the fact that maybe some of it exists in me why it bother me so much. Hard. Because some of the things that are so horrible, horrible things. But I do understand. Like When it comes to things like rape, I understand so that come from my experience. Um, not because I am a rapist but because I experienced that. So, me understand that. But there are some other things where me never, where me never experienced, where just rubbed me so wrong, which, which, logic, and a lot of people who have dedicated their lives to studying this, 
pointing in the same direction says so might I feel my feet for trigger me so much. Cause I wouldn't possess the trigger. I wouldn't have the button the feet press if 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 it is the button. So for it for me if you have the button for be pressed means say me have the thing. And some every time I get triggered, me I try to look for find what the fuck is it me having a me way to attract that that the trigger. So it's a it's work. But a personal work, so it have to get done, right? I mean, I have no time frame because I have no boss of me. Me not have no God sit down and wait for judge me. And I say, oh, you did bad. And you did say damn and blast when you did five years old. So now you have to burn for all eternity because you made me feel some kind of way like God have feelings. When me, me can actually affect God in our way. We make God want to come burn me. You know, oh. Oh, how ridiculous that sounds. I was just telling some family members the same thing. If you never feel hurt, that means you've never loved. Ah, oh God, tell me about it, child. But then we get some good songs out of it. Ah. I'm a mate to them. Last night, we didn't talk about this funny show, you know. Some people fear God. I praise God out of evil come good. Listen to me, man. Without evil, you can't have no good. Where the contrast, I got the big youth, my, my, my zaddy. Eh? If you not have people don't understand what we live in, we live on the plane of relativity. If you don't have darkness, you will never experience light. Because light can only can only exist relative to darkness. If you just do it so the whole time just bright and see everything all the time, oh you're gonna lose the light there. You need the darkness. Darkness need, lead, need light and light need dark. Ah, well. Darkness. Come first, right? Yeah. So darkness to really need light. But for you to appreciate darkness, you need light. And for darkness, for, ex for light to exist, it need dark. It's all right. If me wrong, correct me. Men of his, his, his. But. If you say you're good. So my worst people in me ever book. So my least good people in me ever book. I people who claim say they good. Me, and me enough bad people who then claim say a bad man me meet a nicer than good man, you know. Me not lie. It 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 may sound it may sound questionable. Like if me tell us say, what do you post up something, you know? In a frustration, really. Go post the picture, I show the lumber where me a car, it go through the sunroof. And it go across the bonnet. It did not pass the end of the bonnet. The, the wood shorter than the bonnet. I'm post it and I say, this are the reason why citizens don't cooperate with police. So put yourself the whole of the lack of comprehension skills with a short and I need to post. With everybody I can tell me, say me expect to live above the law. How? Me say, you know, if you ticket me for that, become a park, same place where you stop me. And me tell you, say, me never know said that. Particular act is against the law. So me I call my truck man, I call him pan speaker, and you stand up and listen me, I call the truck man and him saying they're Trinity and him a come. If you can take the wood out of the car so that me no longer create no, no hazard way, as you say. Me ask him to explain how the hazard work. Can't tell me. He just make me know saying could I give me more tickets, what are more expensive. And me basically lucky say only I give me this a ticket. I like so out of this one act, me have a bunch of violations and me lucky. So you only a ticket me for one of them. Even though your sister me a call one truck, me say this is the reason why we don't feel connected to police. It's simple. I mean, I tell about my chat. Me I tell you say this is the reason why civilians don't fucking trust or like the police. You have some good police officers and me know some of them. And I've met some of me don't know. We're just simply nice when we meet them. But the fact still remain that when a man go out at road and do pussy old things like this, this is the reason why civilians don't trust the police you can't argue with me for the rest of our life it not change the fact say the behavior of police is what make people don't trust police that is it you can't argue the whole day no me know so i don't love argue i don't trust me my ego i get would I get fed by uno every day if me did allow uno to touch my ego? Because what I get from this is that you guys think very highly of my intellect, so you like to try to sharpen your wits against me. And that me get. Because if uno they think me idiot, uno they left me alone. I just laugh after me. 
But the facts you come here, so I try to educate me every day. Suggest that you think I'm a rock against which to sharpen your blade. But get this, you can't sharpen your blade against my rock. You only have a little so dollar because you missed the point. And every time you miss the point, you become a little bit more ignorant. Right? What I'm saying is, if you want a relationship to develop between the police and the citizens, then you must employ humane behavior. You have to. You can't go around it. There's no way to trick the universe, no matter which system you put in place. You're still going to have to come back to the system of nature. You can't bypass human nature. You human, I'm human too. And the law that governs us supersedes the law we don't make and put in the land. The laws of nature override anything a man put yourself in. Any, at any moment when Mother Earth decides to enter the wing, kick away for this blood clot and no police can stop that. You know? No government can stop that neither. You, know? you think we can stop Earth can expel we? We can't. We cannot. So may I tell you now, say, this is human nature. You know, make no sense to try to debate because this is not a point for debate. This is just a statement of a fact. Now, show me one, show me something where override a fact they and beat me. Show me something where tell me say me wrong. The masses don't trust the police. Am I wrong or right? They don't, right? Majority of masses don't like the police. Am I wrong or right? The reason they don't trust the police is because every time the police get a chance for exercise uh, with a heavy hand, their authority, they use it. Too many of them. Now, it's not every one of them do it every time. But every time you get in a position where it can be done, one of them is going to do it. So we have seen every example of the police being heavy-handed. We have seen that every single one of we will live as so We are traumatized. What Sharon always say, we are a traumatized society. We are a traumatized nation. Yes, we are. We have seen too many instances of police being heavy-handed. That is what we have seen and experienced with self. One time when you, you can look and say, this is a person I want, for the most part, from all appearances, everything but the vehicle intact, then do the right thing. They must follow the rules. Then after sitting here, yes, me have one sitting through the window. Tanya Stevens now look no, no extra different treatment from police. Ask the police them when you know book them. Ask police generally how much of them ever pull me over. When they catch me, I do things like speed. Just like you, they catch me at speed too. And when a police say, all right, slow down. I will let you off with a warning. What, what me do? I go, so officer, you catch me. I can't even lie. I don't speed your fuck. I can't tell no lie. Just give me a ticket because I don't no excuse. And when they let me off and say, go on, you feel better, you know. I don't no, no tell him, say, no, if you take it, I don't no, you know. say, you catch me. I him, him most, me do with them and say, which one on or run around and race? You know me things set already. I'm all nigga. I'm going be myself. And that not against the law. But when I me, me, me carry two pieces of board, God, me, now, now we have one law, we say, your white plate, your private vehicle cannot carry these items. I think you're wrong. If you see me I carry commercial, things for commercial use, then all right, find me. For care commercial things in one white plate. But when me a care two pieces of wood go on my yard for my hobby. And me I use them. Me not do no commercial work. Me a care two pieces. Even if you think me that I care one work man out to go do the work. A two pieces of wood and me a care go on my yard. You know me not do no wide scale commercial work. Me, if me I work on my yard, me I try to live in a more comfortable place. So that me can go work and pay your fucking tax. Me just buy a piece of lumber which means me just pay your fucking tax. Me a carry in a me car, which means me pay the fucking duty them. Cause my papers ain't up to date. <clears throat> now if you see me in a full compliance with everything else, and me tell you say, me never know so this again. I did not know that putting it through my sunroof and being out of the space of everybody. Me know you nobody else space, you know? One idiot, I may go say that with love. Because that was idiocy. Tell me say, what if one trucker come around the corner? Brother, if one trucker come around the corner and lick you wood, where they write here so over my bonnet, him have to lick me, you know? I feel lick me. Feel lick the fucking wood. Lick the wood. Mm. <laughs> yeah, feel lick me first. Because the wood shorter than the bonnet. So for him feel lick the wood, he have to pass the bonnet. So me I say, what is, I was driving 35 kilometers an hour. What is the infraction? What, what is the real infraction? Because me know say you're right the law. But out in a nature, 
nature and the law are not synonymous. That a man law. Tell me where, which part in nature me a create one hazard. Me a drive 35 kilometers an hour. Which means uh, not even if me stop, if me step on it, 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 it would fasten from the inside of the car. It's secured from the inside. Not even if me step on my brake, jam it. That would the car move. Right? It can't move. What are the hazards we may create? We make you couldn't say, all right, since you call a truck, me the right so, and you say a truck come, let me see a truck come. Since you call a truck, me I let you off with a warning now. That would have built some amount of faith in our police. And that's all me I say, all right, you know, do it with me, do it with everybody else. He might go ask me, say, so if the police think, give everybody a blight, how, how, how the place are going to run? I'm like, give everybody a blight? Are you saying that to, to give me a warning now and tell me don't do this again? Is the same as if you, you let off one man from fr just killing wife? The fuck them two things they have to do with each other? You can't give everybody a blight. No, you can't. Me wouldn't tell yourself to give me a blight if you catch me a speed. Because me know say speeding is against the fucking law. Me see the big old sign them with it. The... And when me not see none, me I go argue. Say me never know say yes or that's only because I don't see no sign. But when me see the big old 80 kilometer. <clears throat> and me out here, so I do 130. Me, I can say, officer, you catch me. Just give me a ticket and done. Because what me I go, I say. But when me have one piece of wood, where am my piece of wood? No, me say, the irony of it is that the police will come and find me and let me take the, and take the wood out of my car. But you can't get them to take a rapist wood out of a pitney. You can't get them to take a pedophile wood out of a pitney. But you can take your wood out of my car when I do no harm. When I check on yourself. And the fact that it is written and is made into law does not mean that it is above reproach. A we, a man make them law day. And them law day need to be constantly examined to make sure so them feasible. To make sure so them practical and make sure so them actually operable. Right? And where they are not practical, we feel fucking change them. We don't come back and tell me about the law like me know about the law like, yeah, idiot. We have to change them. Anyway, we spot your sister and, you, and the police is not only there to carry out the letter of the law, but they have the, the, the power to use discretion. They do. So we don't so give them this overreaching length on their hand and give them, the, you, you give them like limitless access in your life. And then you start trying to demand, say, me, if you follow you and be the same idiot, I'm not going to do that. You don't get to come tell me, say, for me, if you be as compliant as you, because if me, say, say me, I'll comply with sitting where stupidness, me, I'll question it, and me, I'll insist, say, this need for change. Me, me can't try to do no man. Like, how we are par? When every time government come and say, something, you tell me, say, me, if you shut my mouth and do what they say, they're my daddy. They're my employee. The police out of his serve and protect. Who the fuck him a serve and protect when he, when, when he give me one ten grand ticket? Granted, you know. Me that try to pay it online. Next thing, me have one system for you pay online. Me go up online and do sitting with it already, but me no member, me no member nothing about it. It's a forgot password, me click on that. And then he asked me for put in my username and my email. Me put in email. Me can't remember my username neither. So, when me try to make one new one, I said that email they use already. All right. So when I click on it, forget password, it has to ask for user. It say my email user already, right? But it not allow me to reset the use in the email. It has to me need to put in my username too. But if I can't use back the email, that means I don't got one fucking username attached to it. So when I click on forget password, why the bumble clot? It not just send me back the, the sitting to my email. If I can't make one new account with the same email, because this email is already in use. Then why you can't just send me it? it why may I have to remember it? Me not remember. And it not say, it not have no option for forget username. <laughs> <Rest clapped. laughs> Anyways, I them something here. The therapist will see me to pin right here. So, send me for Lego after all of that. Trust source. Just let go and go with the flow. May I try? May I try? Every time when you see me not do that, remind me. Me can take all the reminders me can get. Even when it irritate me, when you not just remind me, still remind me. Me, me, me did stop this comedy, worry. Therefore, in this dimension, we put labels on everything. However, the supreme source 
don't put labels on nothing. That's true. They're going to miss everything else was said between that and the last thing we come yes. School. Oi, oi, oi. God Almighty, I'm not going to see it. All right. I'm right. I'm up to date now, so anything I want to say now, I'm going to see it. I did a ramble for a bit. I did just a vent. But me up to speed. However, we don't need to align. Well, we don't need to. Let's see, my can work out my process as I go along. All right, we don't need to. But if it is that you want to get to this place, we don't want to get to where we have, where we share the space amicably, and we have less crime and all of that, then if that is what you want to do, you need to change some things. If you want poli um, civilian cooperation with the police, then the police are going to, the police, the members of the JCF are going to have to operate differently. You can't go around that. You can't continue the way you're going, you know, but I'm going to tell you this. If you continue the way you're going, you're going to get more of what you already have. Because what you are doing is what produces what you have. And if you, we are talking, are we talking just Jamaica or will we well, I live in Jamaica. So I'm talking about Jamaica. And I am not going to talk about the whole world because for the most part, yeah, me, me, me can affect myself and myself alone. And then when I changed me, um, as I was reminded, when I changed me, and that is echoed outward, then it changes my environment. No, man, you're not where sorry for. The police stopped me literally a stone's throw away from the tax office. Papers in my hand to show that I just came from the depot and on my way to register my car. Oh, God. Me know shot this ago. Then take it the same way. All right. Either easier than tell us, eh? She not like police. Police beat me in Canada. Oh, God. I know every police stay so. My mom not like police. Me. I know every police stay so. And it's so funny when me talk. Me talk general now because when people don't like the police force, and I bad police, they don't like you know, every one of them. So when me talk, me talk the way how it live. And then you have people come and like them and try to tell me some of you talk for any exception. Me not talk about blood clot exception. We discuss rule. We don't discuss exception. We discuss rule, right? So if the rule is say, people don't like police, then me say people don't like police. Me not going to say, say Except John and Tom and Dick and Harry and my other friend when you marry and Martha. I'm not going to say that. What the fuck? People don't like police. I'm a friend. I'm a friend. understand. So even though you're my friend and you want police, what I like, the general consensus is that people don't like police. People don't like police. So even though I can point, me can point to a, a good amount of people where we are living in a state of disposition. Listen to me. I can point for enough good police. But the majority of them, people don't like them. Beat me. <laughs> Sue me. And see if that ever change the fact. Man, people still don't like police. And it is not baseless. And the way our police behave make people don't like police. I had my three-week-old infant in the car. I explained to the police that I couldn't have registered my car before because I was in and out of the hospital and I had no help. The man told me he understood. Wow. Hold on, because this, I said I can't see where it's going, but it didn't go there. So, the police that did actually nice. See, police, some police out there we have, do not tell me say go nowhere else. So, the police see you, I come from the depot with the paper. No, that's the way you call using discretion. Granted, you know, him could have still see him here in London. Good and bad ones, but people don't like them. Yes, because the bad ones, they make it so fucking bad that you don't like them. Like them two little pissing tail boys that were just left from training school and come out here, so I go try to prove for an old lady where I care two pieces of wood. When you see all the man with wood, just happy fear and I say she have wood. Eh? Just happy fear. And, and, and if the wood can't care for the road, you tell her, all right, make a truck man come carry the wood for you and he come run ahead, come get the wood. But you give me one ticket for that? Like, granted, a ticket easy for pay. But that's not the point. The point is, when me buck him, all right, let's say sitting up somewhere, and me sit, and I the same two little boy there, and me as a little boy, because they could have been my son several times over. Right? Well, not several times over, but they could have been my son with a good space. 
And then they need information for assist them in doing their job. I miss it, said them. Remember them, you know, them face etched in my mind. What you think are the most likely thing I got? No, don't judge my personality. Don't judge my personality. You don't know me. You don't know nothing about me. You don't know me think. You don't know my process. Why most likely thing for you? Eh? You can't just over the so heavy handed with me and then come over here so can't ask me if you be light handed with you. I'm mean, going to box your back like you baba move your bum back like and ask me nothing. Dirty boy. And that's how it's going to come to you. And this is what they've been getting. So one nice police going to one place and ask for help and then get the, 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 the fat in front of the fat from the two police them where they don't move like a pussy wall. It's simple. You can use your discretion and the police officer actually admitted that yes, we do have the, the power to use this discre discretion, but that's up to the officer. I'm like, are you a officer? Who the fuck you talk about? You are the officer. Are you? <laughs> what do you mean by the officer can use discretion? So you're saying that you can, but you're not going to. Me say, all right, the trucker come, you're here. Say, the trucker come, pick up. Yes, but you have already committed the offense. I'm like, this little piece of tail brat. They thought I was intoxicated and came crash through my gate and beat me. Lord God. Police will not do a good job here. You love me, me love you too, rude dog. Rude dog, room 18, rude dog. All right, rude dog, me love you too. I am in London, Ontario. Them no good over here. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Mm, Usher, he still gave me a ticket. Hold on, the man with... Best friend was the one was saying, understand, still give a ticket. God, God. I mean, it feels so good, say it go good. Unfortunately, the law of power gets to people's head and corrupts even the good one. Ah, oh, Jesus. My no me a chat about wood. Why me for my no me a chat about wood? Me can chat about wood anyone who want. Up to the time, the boy, them jealous for see real wood. <laughs> them bad mind for the wood. Because they nano wood. Them probably nano blood clot wood. So them bad mind me yes for the wood. And them probably want the wood. Police not have no discernment. They use their power, their ego are all inflated. You see that? Yeah, all right. So this is what me a talk about now. When you speak, you say their egos are all inflated. And the truth is, and all of them, some you have some good one out there. But you will never think like that when you book, when you have an experience with a bad one. It colors your opinions of them. That is it. So, I messaged you when you came in Tartola to perform. I just wanted to let you know that you're amazing. Oh, thank you. I enjoyed Tartola so much. And big up 450 because I'm here. I need to punish show. Sure, 450, I was tired. I'm going to go on my bed. I came on before him. And he did a great show because I saw the videos and I really, really love that little boy so much. I'm so happy to hear you are touring this year. 